Guys, today we're making a video of my shocking story. E O O two. She dated one hundred million to to find true love. Dar man studio. Bro, that's way too much. And this has so much views. I want that much. I'm kind of jealous. All right, let's get into the story. Fine, I'll do it. I'll go on a hundred dates in a month, and I'll marry one of them. Terrific. I am so glad you agreed with me. You're such a good girl. Well, I wasn't agreeing for my parents. I was doing it for myself. My grandmother left me a massive inheritance, millions to start my own business, but she- Why did the mom look like that? Why did the mom look at the son like that? I mean, daughter. I was a bit old-fashioned and stated that I'd only get the money after I got married. I was ready to fulfill her wishes. All I wanted was to start my own business and get working. I wanted to chase after my dreams. How hard could it be to find true love? I've made a list of the- Todd. I don't know. Top 100 most handsome, richest bachelors in- By the way, Mom, aka, I don't know, aka human, um, it doesn't need to be a billionaire. The country. You will date all of them and choose your husband. He has to be a millionaire or you won't get the money. Is that an. Bro! That messed up. Is anyone saying that in the comments? That's messed up. Well, no, that is my condition. I will not have my daughter marry beneath our station just for this inheritance. I will only accept the most eligible man for my daughter. I don't want a man who's gonna flake out on my baby. He has to provide for my girl. So Who said? But I'm not gonna marry someone I don't like. I wanna be in love. Of course. I'm sure we'll agree on one of the men on my list. Once you're married, you will get the inheritance money from our estate lawyers. And then, you could do whatever you like. But this is crazy. They did a hundred millionaires? What the heck? I would have just quit. <laughs> like, on the first one, I would have quit. All right, Mother. Let's do it. I'll date a hundred men. Amazing. So all your dates will take place That's in one impossible. restaurant. Your first date is with an English duke. Why I was so naive. I really thought I could brute force the way to find love. I was sure this wasn't a stupid idea. This was a stupid idea. My first date was with the handsome Duke Eric, who owned a chain of his own breweries. Mom was so thrilled about him, and here he was playing the soccer match on his phone while he carefully explained all the rules of the game. Ball up to the forward and then going for a goal. I'm not really a soccer fan. It's not soccer, it's football, and you will be now. My God, I wanted to run screaming and I couldn't. My manners had me frozen with a stupid smile on my face. Luckily, he had to go to the bathroom when the waiter came. Bro. What the heck? Why? What? I'm gonna go use the toilet. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, will there be anything else? Uh, perhaps a drink? No, nothing else. Please, I need the state to end. Ma'am, are you in danger? If yes, just blink twice. No, I'm fine. I'm, I'm just on a terrible date, and I need to get out of here. Oh. Why don't you just leave? Because I have three more dates today. What? It's complicated. Okay, um, I'll go get your check. It's okay. The next date will be better. I'm sure this was just bad luck. Except it wasn't. Um, why did you agree to this? Somehow the dates my mother shortlisted just got worse and worse. Excuse me, Mr. Paxton, how old are you? I'm about 20 years older than you, so this is a bit awkward. A lot awkward. You could be my father. 
Your mother said she was setting me up with a lovely lady. I had no idea the woman would be the age of my son. I'm really sorry. <laughs> She'll get a good yelling for that. Well, let me know if I can be any use to you. Maybe set you up with my son. Excuse me, sir. Sorry to bother you, but your Porsche is actually being towed. What? Uh, what on earth? What does that mean? Porsche? Porsche? No. Bodie's Porsche is getting towed. What happened to his car? Oh, it's fine. I just wanted to help you escape granddad over there. <laughs> um, there's some extra drinks in the back if you care to join me. Here we are. Thank you for saving me. My mom set me up with this old guy. She lost her mind. My, your, your mother set you up these blonde dates? I have to go on a hundred dates in a month to find my true love. <laughs> The dumbest. And it has to be rich. I don't know if it has to. But the mom did say. I've ever heard. Excuse me? Oh. You're not joking. Oh, well, it's a good strategy. I mean, I think I'll find someone by the process of elimination. Love isn't so. a science experiment. Are right, your strategy is a little weird. I have oh. to do this. You wouldn't understand. Very well. Let's hope one of your next dates is husband material, then. He wasn't. It was official. Each person my mother had shortlisted was a lunatic. I couldn't take a hundred dates like this. I'd go nuts. I needed a better strategy. Henry, you're a good waiter. Clever and observant. And I think I... Imagine he was, um, not rich and the mom gets mad at him. That's messed up. It's all right. Tipped you generously, and I've been a good patron. Okay. What you want? Well, if I have to go on a hundred dates, I'm gonna need to keep my sanity. So I'm thinking that you could help me, and if I go like this, you'll come out, and you can tell people that their car's getting towed, or maybe their house is on fire, or their boat's sinking, or I don't know, something. Mm. Right, right. Um. Or, why don't you just leave? Impossible. These guys are filthy rich. I don't want to offend them. Yeah, right. Only millionaires for this princess I see. Please help me. Please. Okay, why are you doing this? This is so excessive for a beautiful girl. Well, because the mom offered him her oh. money. I don't know if I would hurt like I mean, you don't have to try this hard. You think I'm beautiful? Just answer the question, please. <laughs> I quickly explained my situation to Henry, who seemed baffled and a little concerned. I mean, is this worth getting married over? The dude saying dogs. <gasps> Just answer the question, please. I mean, how big can your inheritance be? I mean, she's worth millions. Millions? Like, like, like how many millions? Like, like, like double digits millions or like, you know what? <clears throat> Sorry. Don't answer that, that's personal. But yes, you need to get this inheritance for sure, yeah. Yeah, that's why I have to get married. My grandmother literally put it in the will. That's why I have to go on all these dates. I mean, and hey, I mean, if, if it doesn't work out, then you can just divorce them and you'll still be rich. Exactly. So you'll help me? I'll even pay you for your time. All right, deal. 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 I continued to go on dates, as bad as they were somehow amongst all this craziness. I'd made a new friend. Henry was always there for me whenever things got out of hand. He'd quickly make an excuse and get me out. I'd go to the kitchen in a corner and hang out with him. Except Henry was super overworked, so he often didn't get time to eat himself. He was the waiter, he helped people arrange schedules, and he was also helping with the food. He was doing everything. Hey, there's someone else in the kitchen. I uh, I thought you were a waiter. I didn't know you were a chef too. Uh, I'm actually a really good cook. My mom taught me, so I help out here and there. He fixes most of our recipes. He just has an act for taste. Here, taste this.
That's amazing. Did you make that? Yeah, my mom's version was better, but thank you. Why are you a waiter? You should be a chef. Well, I don't have enough money for a culinary degree, and no one's going to hire me. Give him the money. As a chef without one, so. But I make enough money here through tips, so it's fine. It didn't seem fine. Henry was so talented, and he worked hard, sometimes late into the night. But the owner of this restaurant didn't care one bit. He was happy paying Henry a low salary and keeping him a waiter while using him to run his kitchen. I'm throwing hey. You need to say something to him. You work way too hard. Look, I know it may look hard, but I don't mind taking the harder path. Besides, my boss is a super jerk, so there's no point in saying anything. Uh, I have some tables. I'll be back. Quick. Super, super jerk on the next job. Then quit. I tried to bring it up again, but he just didn't want to confront it. So the next time I saw his boss guzzling down one of his dishes while being ungrateful, I did it myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're gonna have Henry taste test and fix all the dishes, shouldn't you make him a chef? Who is this? Someone who wants to keep me in trouble, Victoria. I'm just saying, he does so much more than waiting tables, and you know that. You should give him a promotion. I run my restaurant how I want, lady. Stay out of it. Can you at least hear me out? It might be better for you to invest in Henry. In a little runt with no name and no degree? He's lucky I even gave him a job. Oh my God, you're a jerk. Victoria! Did you tell her to say all this to me? No, 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 I did not, know. You came up to me a few days ago saying that you wanted to shut. Yes. I turned you down so that you can bring your pretty friend here to beg for you? Hmm? He's not begging, he's asking for what's right. Stop trying to blame him for your actions. You know what? You care about your little boyfriend so much. Hire him yourself. What? You are fired. There are a million other waiters ready to take your place. Get out of my restaurant now. And you too. Wait, you can't fire. Hey. I'm um, busting down that table. Hey. Well, I hope you're happy. Henry. Look, I told you. I didn't want to speak to him. How could you do this, Victoria? I was just trying to help you. You're such a great cook. And he was suppressing your talent. But that's worse people talk, OK? I don't have time to think about my talent because I don't have some inheritance waiting for me like you do. I was just trying to help. Look, I have bills to pay and now I can't pay them. So no, you weren't trying to help. Maybe if you were less of a spoiled brat, then maybe you would understand. I'm not spoiled. Look, okay, don't you have some date with some rich man to get millions without working? We had. He was. She was just trying to speak up. Not living in the same world. Oh my God! Did I just ruin Henry's life? I tried to convince the owner to take Henry back. That everything I said was my fault alone. But the man's ego was too big to even listen. What a rotten egg! I couldn't rest at all that night. I was stewing in guilt. I called 50 restaurants trying to book Henry a new interview. I even called Mr. Paxson and asked if he could invest in me so I could open my own restaurant. I was spiraling. The next day, I got Henry's address from one of the other waiters he worked with and I drove over to see him. Are those his sisters? Hey, Henry. Victoria, what are you doing here? I, um, I wanted to see you. I was worried about you. Ew, pretty girl's worried about Henry. Is that his new girlfriend? Shut it! <laughs> Could get inside the both of you, go! <laughs> Sorry about that, um, my sisters can be a real menace. Um, I can't, uh, really talk too long. I gotta keep an eye on them. Who are your parents? Passed away in a car accident a few years back. Are you, um, are you taking care of your family by yourself? 
Yeah. Oh, 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 hey, Victoria, hey, 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 hey. hey. I'm so horrible, Henry. I ruined your life. I should have never talked to your boss like that. I'm so stupid. And I got you fired. I'm so, so sorry. It's all sorry. right. It's okay, Victoria. It's all right. I know you had good intentions. Womp womp. You're right. I am spoiled. I didn't know your situation, and and I got you fired. It's because I always want the easy way out. Yeah, well, if I had options, I would take the easy way out too. But I don't think that that makes you a bad person. It's just um. I'm unlucky. It's not fair. You're so talented. Do you have so much on your shoulders taking care of your sisters? They just have, he just has sleeves on his shoulders. And now you don't have a job. It's all right. All right, look, I, I applied to a few other restaurants, and I'm pretty sure someone is going to need a waiter. But Henry is so much more than that. He's smart, talented. Motivated. He's my friend. I have to help us both get what we want. Think, Victoria. Think. Hey. You okay? I have a... I hate... I hate these voiceovers in her head. Plan for both of us to get what we want. Why? I mean, why do you want to help me out so bad? Because you're my friend. And I've relied on you. And I can't leave you like this. I have a plan for us. For me to get my inheritance and not have to marry some rich stranger. And for you to be financially stable and to be a chef. How? Henry Collier? Will you marry me? What? It was time to put my plan into action. It took a lot of convincing, but Henry agreed to go along with my antics one more time to try and take the easy way. Henry was going to pretend to be my millionaire boyfriend, my ideal partner from a wealthy family. Once we were married, Mom would finally send me my inheritance, solving my problem. I'd give Henry a cut of it, which would solve his problems too. I even wanted to buy the restaurant from his jerk of a boss so I could make Henry a chef. What about if your parents ate me? Impossible. You look too handsome. Think I look handsome? No, I was just trying to pump you up. Too late, you already said it. My stomach was... To be continued, like and subscribe. Please, um, out. Sorry about it.